Jessica. <laughs> oh, crossfire is here. You? Okay, uh, uh, um, Big Sis, this, he, pro he, he proposed to me. <laughs> Big Brother Prosper. Do, 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 I don't understand what's happening. Is this a prank or what? What's going on? You? Even you? I thought you were my sister. Oh. He, him? Yes, oh, no, 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 so it was all your plan all along to hurt me. Even you. All the sacrifices I make for Say you. Say something. What's going on, Brother Prosper? <laughs> Somebody. Talk. What is going on? No, 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 no. Don't pretend as if you don't know this. This is what are you talking No, 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 no. You planned this. Can somebody tell me what is happening before I you lose my mind? planned this. This guy, you couldn't even wait for a year before you move on. I you See my baby sister. No, I really. Yeah, it's not what. It's I think. not what I think. What? It's not what you. It's not what I think. What? It's not what I think. What? Are you people mad? You know how well you have established me. I have a master's degree in journalism, another master's degree in psychology, and a PhD in global affairs. But God, I don't know why you, I don't have my spec of man. Maybe it's because I haven't told you the kind of man I really want. Now, Father, listen to me. You know, I need a man who earns more than I do. I need a man who has more degrees than I do. Lord, I need a dark, tall, handsome man. You know, a man that fits my status. You know, you took your time to create me and you know you have to create a man that is more than me. Yes, Lord. I know I'm your daughter and you can do this for me. Yes. I want a man that like fits my status that if we are going out, they will know that he's my, he's my class. He's my standard. You know your girl, I, I can't I can't go for less. My way. Oh my god. Oh will I let you be let you be be done in my life. For you're the way, the truth and the lie. The truth and the lie. And though the cross seems heavy, And though the cross seems heavy to be your plans are your best. So many times and failed in many ways Made many mistakes And locked in a cage of fear The pain, the shame, the sorrows and the tears Broken hearts Hi Sister Mary Lee. Hi Pastor How are you? Thank, you? Thank you, thank you of course, I can see you are good. Oh, you're welcome, Pastor. Please come inside. All right, thank you. May the peace of the Lord be upon this house. Amen. Amen. Please, have a seat, Pastor. Oh, thank you, Sister Mary. Well, thank you, on. thank you. Oh, Pastor, I just brought you a... This is something, you know. Just thank 
you, Sister Mary Lane. You're welcome. Oh, that is enough. That is enough. Oh, all right. Thank you. Once again, you're welcome to my home. Oh, thank you, Sister Mary Lane. Thank you. How are you doing? Well, as you can see, I'm, uh, I'm fine, Pastor. You know, I'm always fine. All right. I can definitely see that. I can see the glory of God radiating from you, Sister. You know, I was praying this morning and I just had a lot of burden in my heart concerning you. And that is why I decided to come over here and to talk to you in person. Oh. Sister Mary Lee. Yes. I am kind of concerned. Because you have had six suitors already. And you rejected them all. Well, Sister, something is wrong. Pastor, nothing is wrong. You know, how do you expect me, a lady of class? to stood so low and, and get married of somebody that is not up to my standard. You know, Pastor, I need to marry someone who, who I'll be proud of. Someone that I'll be proud to introduce to people when I go out. So it's... Sister Marilyn, let me interrupt you for a second. The Bible says in Romans chapter 12 verse 2 that we should not conform to the standards of this world. When you begin to make statements like that, I can see you are conforming to the world. He says, do not conform to the standard of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Sister, I need you to begin to study your Bible because you need a transformation of the mind. You need to pray concerning the will of God for your marriage. Sister Marilyn, you need to pray for the will of God concerning your marital destiny. The Bible says also in Revelation chapter 12 verse 9 that the whole world is being deceived by the enemy. You need to pray that God should reveal to you your current state of deception. Sister, your, sta your standards are too high and you are conforming to the world. You say you want 666, a six-feet guy who makes six figures and has six pack. Not only that, you have three, you have two masters and one PhD and you want this guy to be more qualified than you. I mean, where are you looking for such a person? I need you to pray that God will deliver you from current state of delusions. Because from what I am seeing, the devil has deceived you. Pastor, <laughs> hearing you talk, you make me want to lose faith in God. I know God will give me whatever I want. As long as I ask him, Sister he will Mary. grant to me my heart desire. And that is my heart desire. A six figure and at least he should be earning six figures at least. I can, I can manage a man with six figures. Listen, sister. But then I, I can't stood so low to get married to a short. I, I, at least he should be six feet tall. A dark, tall, handsome man. All of the qualities you are asking for, I will not try to dispute you know what you desire. And that is why I am sending you to the prayer mountain to pray. Oh. And the reason I am, the prayer I want you to pray is this. Lord, deliver me from any current state of delusions and deception. Pastor, I don't need to pray to God to be able to know what I want in a man. I know what I want from a man, okay? And I haven't seen anyone yet. Just imagine the last suitor I had. That guy speaks broken English anywhere. Imagine, I took him to a party. He was poorly dressed. His hair was so un unkempt. Pastor, I can't, I can't take that. He was not my standard. Okay? Pastor, just look at me. Look at me. God took his time to build this beautiful lady you're seeing here. And I know her. Father, I know. You give me a man that will birth. Blah, 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 blah. Hey, sister. This is what I'm going to tell you. You have had not one suitor. You always find something wrong with each and every one of them. You something have up to, was wrong with You have had like up to six. Something wrong. The point is, you are looking for a perfect person, an already made person. And that is not a realistic way of life. That is not a realistic perception of reality. Pastor, I'm already made. So if God is sending me a man, the man should be already made. Okay? Sister, I think that is where you are wrong. The Bible says, he that find a wife, finds a good thing and I don't think you are really ready to be a wife and obtains a favor man. from God pastor obtains a favor I'm a favor mm. so any man who is finding me he should, he should prepare for me okay yes and he should be a high level man he should be up there first of all the kind of person you are looking for I mean God has already provided it for you just sometimes you look at the packaging Packaging sometimes is deceptive. You need to look beyond the physical appearance and look into the heart. You need to look 
beyond uh, the present pastor, pastor, and also look no. into the future. Before Does this came, person uh, have dreams? Does this person, uh, Sister Marilyn? Yeah, Pastor, just I have a meeting, you know. I'm a very busy person. So it's All not right, like Sister Marilyn, I, I understand. Yes, but I'm going to leave you with this one scripture. I quote it to you already. Revelation chapter 12, verse 9. It says, the whole world is being deceived by the enemy. And I want you to pray that the Lord will deliver you from any current state of delusion. I need you to pray concerning your marital destiny. Do you understand me? Take, go, go to the mountain, take a day of fast or two days at least and seek the face of God concerning your marital destiny. And also pray that the, the Lord will give you eyes to recognize the people that he sends into your life. To recognize the person that he has sent that is for you. Because so far, I think you have missed them and the Lord has been sending you over and over. And I pray the Lord does not give up on you. Pastor, I've not missed my man. When I see that man, I know. Yes, yes, I understand. And I haven't seen the man. That is why I am instructing you to just pray, all right? Um, yes, Pastor, yes, thank yes. you. I know I you need to go. I, I'm, I'm just going to pray for uh, you. Pastor, okay. no, thank yeah. you, thank you. You know, you know, I am too blessed to. <laughs> yeah, Pastor, so I'm, right. I'm running late, you know. <laughs> all right, Sister Marilyn, pastor, I understand. Nice I'll be praying yes. for you. Yeah, thank you, Pastor, thank you, pastor. thank you. Thank you. Oh, yeah. And please pray, let God send a perfect man too. Oh, I'll be praying. Pastor. Please, Lord, thank you. Oh God, have mercy. Thank you. <sighs> this soul must not perish. This soul must not perish. Oh my goodness. This soul must not perish. Oh my goodness. This soul must not perish. Lord, this soul must not perish. Oh. Apartment 544. Oh. This soul, this soul must not perish. Oh, 545. Oh, 544. Oh my goodness. This soul must not perish. The soul must not perish. Open up. Jesus, please help us to open up. Where is she? Maybe nobody's even here. Maybe it was a mistake of vision. But what if the man of God actually heard from God? She might really be helpless in that apartment. Open up, please. Oh, Jesus. Oh, God, help. Jesus, please. Emergency salvation we need. This soul must not be lost. What is going on? Oh. Who are you? 
Oh, thank God. Praise the Lord. You're alive. Thank you, Jesus. God sent me to you. Please don't go. Yes, yes, please. Why? My name is Esther. I am a servant of the Most High God. Esther. The Lord sent me because He wants to help you. Please don't go. Esther, I'm not a Christian. Where are you talking? I know. I know, but Christ loves you regardless. He wants to help you. Esther. I have so much problem in my life right now. And that you and our God cannot help me right no, now. No, he can. Please. That is the main reason why he sent me because he has chosen to show you mercy. The Bible says that he will show mercy to whom he will show mercy. Do you know how many people are languishing without the Lord coming as fast to their rescue as to you? My sister, the Lord loves you. He has sent me to bring the message of hope to you. Please, give me a minute. Just listen to me, please. Oh, please, All right. please. Thank you so much. Oh my goodness, you're living in paradise. You need paradise. I know that's the money that I got. Oh, come no. Esther, what, what, what are you doing How can I help you? Why are you, why are you in my apartment? Come, let, 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 let's have a talk, you know. The Lord sent me to you. The Lord wants to help Save you. The Lord. Because he loves you, he cares about you. He has a plan for you good. Yes, I come with a message of peace, a message of hope. Esther! Esther, what are you talking about? You don't know me, I don't know you. I know. You don't know who I am. I don't even know why I live in my apartment in the first place. You are Helen. How do you... How, first of all, how do you know my name? That's creepy. Yes, the Lord. I do not have a relationship with the Lord. I don't know what you're talking about. He revealed everything about you to me because he loves you because he wants you to believe me that he's sending me to you um, jesus died on the cross of calvary so that we may have life and have more abundance esther i don't know what you're talking about i'm going through too much problem right now to deal with any of this there is no problem that god cannot handle there is no life that he cannot fix you are not too big for him i don't want to hear any of this God please, sets the please. solitary in you front have, of have to go. and mess the broken in heart. My friend, okay, can I please at least pray for you? Please, can right, I pray friend. for you? Oh, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I come in telling you, as whatever she's going through, I pray that you come through and give her peace in the name of Jesus. Help her, oh God, to know you. Oh, Lord, defeat the enemy's plans over her life, every hour of darkness. Take okay, her. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, you seem like a nice lady and all. I don't have a relationship with God. I was in the middle of something right now and I need to get back to what I was doing because this is not worth it. God None of this is relationship with you. And Helen, if you're looking for a friend, you can always find one in me. God cares about you. I'll be praying for you. Mm -hmm. Anyways, it was nice meeting you, Esther. I'll see you again. Let me call Sharon. I have a touch, Jesus. Baby girl, baby girl, where are you? Pick up, pick up, pick up. Hi, honey! <laughs> Cheryl, baby, how are you? I'm very well. How are you? Well, you know, I'm always good, you know. <laughs> but I have this fudge juice for you. <laughs> oh my god! Girl! <laughs> well, you know, it's so funny how Pastor Luke is trying to. I don't know if he's trying to force me to get married to somebody that is not up to my standard. I don't know. <laughs> When he came to came to my house, he was like hungry looking and all this. And the way he was staring at me, he kept looking at me in the eye. My friend, if not I know, if not that I know that this man is married, man, I'll be saying he has he has something for me. <laughs> wow. He was trying to tell me like, uh, 
I have this delusional something like uh, the kind of men I want is something out of this world. Can you imagine? Like, just imagine. Really? Really? Do you just have to spoil my day like that? High horse award. I am not begging like this man to get married from I'm not in a rush, you know. Stop to think of it. The, 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 the guy I rejected like recently. <laughs> the guy he has his unkempt hair and my god he can't even speak good English. <laughs> I you guys want me to marry somebody like that. Never. <laughs> Teach, teach what? Yeah. Mm -mm. My, see, like seriously, I'd rather stay unmarried than to, to go for a guy like that. Like seriously. And can you can you even imagine? We had this. My dear, all fingers are not the same. Okay. I was born with a with a, a silver spoon, a gold spoon, my dear. We are not <laughs> can't even imagine. Come to think of it, he was trying to propose to me on the red carpet. <laughs> with that kind of suit, did you see what he wore? <laughs> Please, please don't don't just spoil my day, okay? This just was so hard that I could not just keep it to myself. Even though I know you're always like a a joy killer, but my God, there's there's no way I'll ever settle for for that kind of man. Like so, Sharon, baby, what's up? What's up with you? That your guy has. I'm well. I'm very well. Trusting God for bed. Trusting God for his choice of come and propose to me. I'm not going to. <laughs> please, that's you, please. I cannot settle for anything less. <laughs> you know, you know, I'd rather stay unmarried, okay? Guess what? Whatever God has for you, He's always the best for you. Regardless of the best status or how you better do. That's, 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 that's why you're Sharon, okay? That's why you're Sharon and Marilyn, okay? We are different. We are made of different clay and everything. Please, sweetheart, I'm, I'll call you back later, okay? Alright. <laughs> yeah. Bye, love. Bye. Bye. <sighs> I was that look? Sister Marilyn. So another suitor came and proposed? I can't even call him a suitor. <laughs> Yeah, he's not my level. Pastor Lucky spoke to you about it. Pastor Lucky, yeah. He was like, please, you need to calm down from your high horse. You are delusional. You are this, you are that man. And you're laughing about it. Marilyn! It's so funny, like I can't even imagine like you guys wanting me to settle for someone who can't even comb his hair. <sighs> but you can bring the best out of him. I'm not, I'm not here. his mother. <sighs> I'm supposed to be a wife to him, and as his wife, he has to take care of me, and he can't even feed himself. <sighs> Mary. Why are we doing this? See, you need to pray about it. You need to seek the face of God in prayers and through the scriptures. Coming from someone who had three breakups. And what, what, what happened to the last guy you were so madly in love with him? And he ended up proposing to your best friend in the choir. <laughs> oh my god! You see, you should just act like me. I wonder why you're my sister though. We, 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 we. Please. Marilyn, see, we, we need to give this a talk. We, we need to settle down. It is the will of God for us. Marriage is a good thing. It's honorable. Was he not the will of God for you before he got married to your best friend? <laughs> you know.
know, I rather get married to my money. Mm -hmm. You can't say that, big sister. You can't. I'm feeling my money so much. Money will you not see, always my be position in the society is so so. I can't. Your position will not always be the one to encourage you in Christ. The Bible says two are better than one. Do I need a man to go to heaven? You need a man who might no, 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 no. Do I need a man to make it to heaven? Because that's the only thing that will make me settle for less. But girl, since I know a man will take me to heaven, keys to a single life forever. Oh God. Ah. Don't worry, don't worry, <laughs> don't worry. God will send a man like <laughs> what's that? I can't even remember. <laughs> I remember Do you want me to connect you guys? Because you guys might be a match. I just uh, please, big sis. You still have to pray about this. I believe that. Truly, marriage can help us serve God even better in the sense that you have someone to fellowship with, read the scriptures with, pray together, raise up godly kids, have a godly home. It represents Christ and the church, don't you see it? And we're in this country without father or mother. Sister, I still think we need, we need to wait on God. <sighs> it's so funny that Yo, keep saying, I need a man, I need a man to do this, I need a man to do that. I pay my bills, I take care of everything. I don't need a man for nothing. I don't need a man to go to heaven. I don't need a man to pay my bills. I don't need a man to make me happy. So, why are you not married again? I'm Sister Mary, why are you not married? Like, you should be, why am I being draggy? Going back and forth. I'm still you. waiting on God for the perfect will of God. Just because I've had three filled relationships doesn't mean that God is not thinking well about me. I want to settle down. And I believe God that one of these days I will settle down in the will of God for my life. Okay, okay. Are we done with this conversation? I guess. Thank you. <sighs> married this, married, 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 married. Why do you guys read like it's okay? Why is everyone on my matter? Even you? Look at you, look at you. You, you, you. Oh, is it because I feed you? Is it because I clothe you? You live in my house. You think you have the right to tell me? Oh, blah, 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 blah. That's enough. Right, I'm your elder sister. I know what is best. Sometimes I wonder where you came from, you know. Maybe if our parents were alive, I would have asked mommy, like, are you sure we have the same father because we are so different from each other. At least we have the See, same See, that is why men keep breaking your heart. Yeah, you give in too easily. <laughs> you know? <laughs> like someone will just leave you and go for your best friend. Oh my God. <laughs> Okay, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. I'll just connect you with the guy who... Uh, you, you, you know his name more than I do. What's his name? It's like you love that guy. It's okay. I'll, I'll, it's like, oh, I deleted his number. It's okay. Okay. See, I have, I have one, you know, I have to go sleep right now. I'm really... <laughs> Lord, I thank you. Thank you, Father, for my family. Thank you for my husband, for my children. Thank you for giving me the very best of the Lord. How about I glorify your name? Because indeed, you fulfilled your word. I trusted in you for a good and a godly husband. And Father, you made your word to come true in my life. I am enjoying my marriage. Father, I am grateful to you. I do not take it for granted. It's not because I'm better than anybody else. But Father, because your grace was sufficient for me. Father, I pray for the grace, the wisdom, the knowledge, even to hold my marriage well, even to be the kind of wife and the kind of helper that you have designed me to be to my husband that will continue to enjoy our home. Ah, Father, I am grateful to you. Thank you, Father, for all you are doing for me. Ah, because 
I know I have to read whatever, but it's not easy. Ha! Girls are going through a lot out there. I know, but once, once you don't choose right, it can make or mar your destiny, the choice of a life partner. It is, so, it is so important that I wish somebody is out there telling women that they should trust in the Lord, that they should, you know, seek the face of God and be sure about that choice. You know, it's a body that I have in my heart. I, I need to pray more about it. And I need to, you know, I'll, I'll see Pastor. Yeah, okay. Anyway, yes, uh -huh. so where was I? Uh -huh. I will bless the Lord who has given me counsel. My heart also instructs me in the night season. Yes, so I have set the Lord always before me. Because he's at my right hand, I shall not be moved. Huh? Thank you, Father. Who is there? Yes, come in. Who is there? Sister Esther. Oh, there's nothing. Oh, come, just come. Come and have your seat. Come, come. My great. Why is it always me? It's okay. It's okay, my sister. Please. Please come. Just come. Come. Calm down. Calm down. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Yeah, Why is shame always coming to me? Why? <sighs> shame? Did you hear what Brother David did? Huh. Why are you pretending like you're not hurt? <sighs> sister Esther, oh. I heard, I didn't know that was what you were talking about. I heard about oh. it, but Sister Esther, oh. calm down. That's what I will tell you. You know, when things happen like this, I know it is hard, it is heartbreaking. I know that you must be feeling really bad, but take it that it is in fulfillment of the plan and purpose of God for your life. What plan? What purpose? It is a broken relationship not better than a broken marriage? Ah, uh, I'm just a shadow of myself. I know, I know, but I want you to understand one thing: oh that when God will finally settle you, it will be unbelievable. How the pain you are feeling right now, it will be gone just like that. Yes, I know it is difficult to bear, but what does the Bible say in Psalm 27 verse 14? He says, wait on the Lord. Let your heart be strengthened in the Lord. Yes, I say again, wait on the Lord. I'm sure you know that scripture. Even Isaiah chapter 40 verse 31 says, we should wait on the Lord. When you wait on the Lord, He renews your strength. You mount up in wings like eagles. You will run, you will not be weary. You will walk, you will not faint. So what I want you to do is to wait on the Lord. I know it's not easy, but wait on the Lord, my sister. Hey, sister Esther. Who would have thought that this kind of things can happen to me? What kind of predicament is it? Not the first you thought, not the second you thought, the third failed relationship. Ah! God. I know, but you know, you know what, you know the way it is in this day and age. Don't you know that young men these days, what they want is to marry somebody because of their educational background, because of their physical looks, is she beautiful, does she have figure eight, does she have, you know, those are the things they look at, they look at the things, carnal things, they don't look at, at, at the spiritual value that the person will want to have, that's why you find them, they are looking for who will sort them out. Papers, if it's not for papers, it may be all oh, because it's a pastor, she's a pastor's daughter, she's popular and all of that. So people are getting married now for the wrong reasons. So I want you to, you know, to hold yourself from in the Lord, to keep trusting in the Lord, to keep walking in, the, in your purpose, in your purpose. Wait on the Lord, love God, serve Him, stay in the place of purpose. And that very person that the Lord has prepared for you will find you in that place of purpose. So don't be, don't despair. Don't despair, don't be sad. Yes, it's difficult, I know. But I can tell you that these things are happening because who God is bringing, that person is very special. And you deserve somebody that is special. You deserve to be loved, to be cared for. See my marriage, I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying it. Do you know how many failed relationships I had? Six. Six failed relationships before God finally gave me the very, the person that I should just have been waiting for patiently. So I know it is a very sad thing. I'm really sorry. I'm so sorry about what you've gone through. But trust me, where God is taking you, the design that he has for you, uh, we'll be here to see. And I'll keep praying along with you, my sister. My great. Are you just saying these things to me because I am your friend? How is it that I am not genuinely born again? That's why I am experiencing failed relationships. Is it that I am a hypocrite? I'm compromising. Where have I gone wrong? God, where am I running to? Which eagle's wings am I mounting up? To where? To which future? Esther. Oh, Margaret. Esther. 
sister, wait on the Lord. This is so painful. Wait on waiting. the Lord. That is the only message I would give to you. Ah. Just wait on the Lord. Wait on the do Lord. Do I have a bad character? You don't have a bad character. What's of course, wrong? it is important to ask these questions. It's important to do self-check to ensure that we are still in the faith. But you know, as I know, that you are doing okay. It may not be the best. We are all aspiring to perfection. That is what Jesus expects of us. But for that failed relationship, yes, it is painful. But I want you to trust in the Lord with all of your heart. Do not lean on your own understanding. Asking all these questions. Do not lean on your own understanding, okay? I've been trusting the Lord. Keep I've trusting, been trusting the, Lord. the Lord. Keep trusting the Lord. When is he going to work? Even my elder sister, Marilyn, nothing to write home about. What's wrong with my family? Maybe we are. You're cursed or something. <laughs> that is not it. You are not. Oh. You are not. Remain in the place of purpose. Hey. Keep serving the Lord. Keep loving the Lord. Win souls for Christ. So do the things that God today. desires of you to do. Huh? And don't focus too much on, the, on that aspect. God will make it work in his own time. It's important to wait for God's time. When you don't wait for God's time, when you don't follow the will of God, you will only end up meeting disappointment at the end of that journey. So that is why you need to, you know, yes. Just, you need to wait on the Lord. You know, just wait on the Lord. Just do the things that God desires of you to do. And in no time at all, that very best that he has for you will come to pass, eh? It's okay. It's okay, Esther. It's okay. I want you to cheer, please cheer up. Cheer up, eh? The best that God has for you, it will come. I hope the Rest. devil will not steal it ah, again. No, that one, the devil will not steal it again, okay? Just cheer up. Don't worry about that, eh? Please cheer up. Cheer up. Aha! See, we are look at our wedding album. Take, take. <laughs> Class three, let me go and get you something to eat and drink. Oh Cheer up, don't worry. Oh, don't worry. In no time at all, it will come to pass. Amen. Oh Lord, your word says that he that will come will come. Eh, let him not tarry, let him come. And give me the grace not to let the devil come in and steal it from me, please. Oh God, please remember my sister and I. Hello, Uncle Titus. Please, are you home? I have a good news. The Lord have done it for me. I'm really glad. But I cannot tell you now. I want to get home first to let you know. Yes. Uncle, the uncle. Yes, Prosper. There is good news. Let me hear the good the news. The Lord has done it again. Yes. Ah, uncle. I saw a beautiful flower. I cannot leave this one pass me by. Oh, I'm happy to hear you. And your I believe news. the Lord programmed this specific one for me. I'm not missing it. No, 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 no. It's a woman. Okay. I want to get married, Uncle. If you see her, yes. She is beautiful. Ah, just the way I love it. You are a handsome, decent young man and has a good job. So you can go for her, my son. You have my encouragement. Thank you, Uncle. Yes. But Uncle. Yes. I don't know if she's going to accept. Why not? <sighs> Uncle, you know, women these days, ladies these days, you can, you can never tell. What makes you think so? Is she not a, a believer? Uh, 
Or is she not God fearing? I think she is because if God showed me this one, then I think she is. She is. I think so. Okay. Getting married is a good thing for you. And I would just have to encourage you to go for her. <sighs> Thank you, Uncle. You're welcome. Ah, Uncle, this is your fridge. You have not changed it. No, I will definitely still change making it. the noise like last time. Here. Ah, Uncle. Yes. Don't worry. When God had finally established me with this woman, yes. I will ensure I bring you a new fridge. Oh, great. So, can you go to the kitchen and get something to eat before you go home? How did you know I'm hungry, Uncle? I have to. I know you, that. my son. Ah, let me get something. That is the more reason you have to get married. So that she can be cooking for you. Oh my God, that pastor is so, so amazing. Really powerful man of God. <laughs> Your baby face is. <laughs> What's that? What's that? What? <laughs> No! Oh my god! You know it's always beautiful to serve God. Are you serious? You know you need to keep serving God, sis. It's always a blessing to have you in church. Why? Huh? Because it's the will of God for you to serve Him in truth and in spirit. Huh? Uh, uh, sister, you need to consider things with the Lord. Huh? You need to become more fervent in your relationship with the Lord. I'm telling you, you know you need to join the choir, the ushering department, prayer warrior department, or any other department in church. You can be a sanctuary keeper, sister. Huh? You need to join an area of service in church. Look, see, I'm tired. Oh, but you think I don't know you guys in the choir? It's because you guys are looking for a man. What? No, no, okay. I know it. You don't I didn't know say me. that. No you guys way. are so desperate that you, you I know. No! The Bible says that God will not forget our labor of love. That's why we need to work in the vineyard of God. Mm. Huh? The Bible says, remember your creator in the days of your youth. Mm -hmm. Invest your strength into serving God. Mm -hmm. It says. And this one that you come to church just once in a while, it's not good though. Ah, please, I have hey. you, but please go and get us something to eat. I'm hungry. I'm Ah, please. But please get me a glass of juice, please. All right, I'm but please think about it. Uh, the please. Lord needs you. Yeah, yeah, I know. The Lord needs uh, needs me. I need him too. He should give me my six, 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 yeah. nine, six pack, six feet, six figure. Ha! Yeah, okay. <laughs> Maybe I might consider, you know, joining the choir, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Who knows? Uh, so I'll, I'll see. Okay, this is the plan. If God doesn't give me my 66 by the end of this year, I'll, I'll consider joining the choir. Maybe my spec will be watching me in the congregation. Who knows? Six pack, six feet, six figure guy. Hey, mm, please hurry up. I'm dying now. I need to eat something. All right, my pastor will be preaching long, long sermons. Ah, that, that your church. That's why I only go to that church twice in a year. I'm tired. Let, let me let me let me go change. Oh, I'm so tired. My goodness. Ah. Oh. How could I have forgotten to pass by Helen's place? Huh? That was another. God. That was another person I was preaching to. How could I have forgotten? Oh God, Holy Spirit, and you actually spoke about her to me last night. The bad dreams she is having, the depression she is going through, and those bullies, those people harassing her on the streets. I know it was you who was talking to me about her yesterday. I could hear you so clearly, Holy Spirit. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry that I forgot. So pass by her place and share with her the message of salvation, the message of your deliverance. I hope nothing happens to her this night before I reach there tomorrow. Eh? Oh God, I'm sorry. I really want this soul to serve you in truth and in spirit. God, I come against every forces of darkness attacking Helly's life. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare, oh God, Helly will not take her life due to depression. In the name of Jesus Christ, every harassment on her street, the bandits, the thieves who are planning to take away her life. Lord, I decree and declare, in the name of Jesus, that their manipulating behaviors are stopped right now in Jesus' name. Oh God, every attack of the enemy over Helly's life, I stand against 
bless it in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, I form a hedge of protection around her right now in the name of Jesus Christ. I so kill it in the blood of Jesus. You spirit of untimely death. The Lord rebuke thee from any sliver in the name of Jesus Christ. Any will not die. She will live to declare the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. She is a chosen vessel in the hands of the Lord. A battle acts in the hands of the mighty God. Therefore, no weapon of the enemy shall prosper against her. No scheme of men shall prevail against her life in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, I soak her in the blood of Jesus. Lord, I soak her in the blood of Jesus. Oh God, she will be a menstrual in your heart. She will be an evangelist for your glory. She will be a fruitful woman in your vineyards in the name of Jesus Christ. Nothing will truncate your plan over her life. No one will distort your plan over her life in the name of Jesus. Father, please keep healing for me. Keep healing for me. Nothing bad will happen to her this night. I will meet her tomorrow, sound and safe, and I will give her the message of salvation again. Surely, Lord, you will visit her. Yea, you appointed time over her. It is now in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, I surround her with your angels. I surround her, oh God, in your presence in the name of Jesus. Jesus Christ, no, please, eh? keep healing, keep healing. I'm begging you, don't think you have put to her this night. I'm begging you. Ha. The enemy indeed has come to steal, to kill, and to destroy. In this generation, believers must be alert to watch over the souls of young men and women around them so that they will not perish and go to hell. Oh God, help me to be a fruitful soul winner in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh God, help my sister Marilyn to be a fruitful soul winner. Well, Lord, I beg you in the name of Jesus, please save her soul. Start with my sister, Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ. Help us to be a watchman, oh God, in the name of of Jesus Christ, hallelujah, praise the Lord, Father faithful are you who have called us, who also will do it for us, in the name of Jesus Christ, glory be to God, hallelujah, praise the Lord. I'm so disappointed in mom and dad, like I had such... I had so much expectations for marriage. Now look at me, depressed. I can do better than this. I don't need to, they don't need to affect me at all. I can be happy. I used to be so happy. No, no, my life is just a mess. They're making me so depressed. I am so disappointed. I'm so beautiful. Like I don't need to be doing this to myself. Maybe that lady was right. Maybe I should listen to her. Twice. Twice. Since I've been living here. Twice. 
when I tell you when I tell you that I don't think God is on my side, that's what I mean. Like, oh, God still cares about you, Haley. I don't believe that. I believe it. I don't believe it. I believe it. Because that's what the word of God says about you. He says that even if a breastfeeding mother will forget to breastfeed the child, he will not forget you. He will not forsake you. That's why he's coming to your aid to help you. Where are you? I'm busy. You asked me to call me and look at time is running. I've been here for like 15 minutes and I can't see you. Where are you? Esther? Yes, Harry. I do need some help. I do need some support. I, I need something. I don't I can't be living in depression for the rest of my life. I can't imagine what you've been going through. I've been bullied, your parents been divorced and oh my goodness, that's a lot. It is and I'm you need rest. I, I can't rest. I can't sleep. Yeah. I've been just having terrible nightmares every single night. I can't. I can't. I can't focus to do my schoolwork. Let me show you something. The word of God. Oh, see what the word of God says. The word of God says in Matthew chapter eleven, verse twenty-eight to twenty-nine that. Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you, and learn of me, for I am meek and lowly in heart, and ye shall find rest unto your souls, for my yoke is easy and my burden is light. The yoke of God is easy, the way of God. Do you believe that? I believe with all my heart. Jesus is the reason why I'm alive. Jesus is my joy, he's my peace. He's my everything. He's my destiny. And he has a plan for you. He wants to give you peace. He wants to give you rest to your soul. He died on the cross of Calvary so that we may be saved, that we may have life and have it more abundantly. The Bible says that the enemy came to steal, to kill, and to destroy. But Jesus Christ that we should have peace and have it more abundantly. Yes, Esther, I've been fighting for my life. That is why you need Jesus Christ to fight for you. Your battle is already won. You're not fighting for victory. You're fighting from a place of victory. God has you at heart. I've done everything else. There's, I don't, I'll, I'll try. I've tried everything else. I'll try your way. And we'll see how it works. God's way is the ultimate. I'll try God's way. He saves you not just in this world, but through all eternity. He gives you life eternally. So if you're willing, if you're ready, you can make him your Lord and Savior today. Jesus said that except you are born again, you cannot enter into the kingdom of God. You know, sometimes most of these things we are battling with is because we have not yet received life from the Lord. And once you have the life of God in you, the enemy is defeated. The storms are calm. Yes. And I peace. every crooked part is made straight. Yes, Jesus gives you peace. I don't even know where to start. And stop, please. I don't know where to start. I want, I, I've tried everything else. And you are very passionate about what you believe. And if this God yours can help me. He will help you. I want to try. So, just close your eyes and go to God in prayers and say, Lord Jesus. I'm sorry. You know I don't like this. You kept me waiting for over 15 minutes. You know I'm a very busy person. And look at people look at me. I don't like this kind of thing. Guess what is it? Speak up, speak up. I don't have time, please. You embarrassing me.
To what? Like here? Like you couldn't find somewhere better? Like look at the trees. Look at this. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I can't take this. I can't take this. Why are you embarrassing me? It doesn't matter. Shut up! Shut up! I really love you. Of this, come to think of it, I even thought I could manage your height. You're so 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 disorganized. Like, come to think of it, how old are you again? Uh, the, 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 <laughs> oh my god, what kind of bad luck is this? Come to think of it, I was even going to get married to my younger brother. I just turned 33, and I'm like. Like, why are you embarrassing me? Like, seriously, look at what you got. For a lady of my class and standard, look at what you got. Look at, look at your, you're proposing to me in this list. <laughs> are you looking for a mother or a wife? No, 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 because you need a mother. You can't even put yourself together. Look at this. Look at how dressed. You can't even match your colors. Like, I'm sick. Never you call my number again. Don't you dare call me again. Hey, beautiful. Love your plans for me. Will always be will always the be best. best. They will always yes, be the best. The best. Yes, the best. Oh, your plans for me. But why is it that I can't find a good man, a man of my own choice? Like look at the kind of men that keep coming to me. It's either the man is broke, it's either the man is short, or I, what is this? What is really happening? Am I cursed or what? Father, am I your stepdaughter or I don't understand this life? I'm tired of this kind of life I'm living. Look at even my baby sister, nothing good is coming her way. God, why? Why? Are we cursed or what? Father, please do something. Do something. It's time we do something in our life. Oh, my baby sister. I really don't know what she thinks of me now. If she sees me as a failure or what. Poor her. I think I should go and talk to her. Everything I have in the society, yet I'm not happy. Oh, I knew it. I knew it that my sister was so traumatized and disturbed by the situation. God, I beg you, look upon us with your mercy. If you count on our iniquities, which of us can be saved? God, we don't have mothers and fathers who are pastors, but we have you who can show us mercy. God, please. Be our present help in this time of need, please. Hey, girl. Big sis, are you okay? I'm fine. Oh, don't pretend. I know you're always in my but deep within. Look at, I met you. Are you heartbroken? 
see how you were feeling. I could not Yes, know. I was heartbroken and it's in the past now. Don't worry, I'm fine. You know, I'm, I'm your big sis, remember? You have I have more wisdom than you do. I'm fine. Don't, 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 don't forget about that man. Forget about him. He's, he's not my class, remember? So I don't even see him like... Chef, I'll be fine. You know, I have to wash after you. Not you looking at... No, 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 no. That's not the case. Hey, girl! Put out a smile on that beautiful face. Big sis. What? You have to take time to heal when you're going through trauma. Don't just put up a I'm facet, not sick. a plastic smile like everything is fine. I'm not sick. You need divine healing. Uh, you need the Holy Spirit's comfort. You need God's help. We yes, need, I need God's help. help. And He's helped me already. Can't you see? I'm fine. Forget about that. That shouldn't be a topic in this house again. Okay? I'm good. See? Big sis, I'll be praying for you. Hallelujah. Pray for me, okay, but I'm fine. Mm, good night. I think you should sleep. Okay, right. I love you. Oh, God, please help us. Look upon our family with your mercy, please. How can my big sister say she's fine? She was not fine when I met her. <sighs> Really? How can Marilyn say no? Is God the author of confusion? Or am I the one that is confused? What is happening? I thought she was the one. Oh, I'm not understanding the vision. Oh God. Help me, Father. But I cannot hold things. I'm really no, Father, Father, Father! No! No! No, please! Direct my path! Open my eyes to see clearly! Lord, I need to understand! Father! Please! I don't want to miss it, Lord, in marriage! I don't want to marry wrongly! Lord, please help me! Help me! Help me! Father, help me! My God! My King! My Maker! Daddy, you said when I call you, will answer me! Father, please answer me! I don't want to be like a fool in the midst of everybody when I go and I ask their hand in marriage. Father, please help me. Oh, God. Marilyn, why? Why? You are so good. You are so kind. Almighty God. You are so good. You are so kind. Father, take control. In Jesus' name, I've prayed. What is the matter? It is well. It is well. No, it is not well. It has never been well. Master. It is not well, Margaret. It is well. In it's Jesus God, Marshall. What did we ever do? Why is it always my family? Other families in church seem to be basking in the love of God. We're in the presence of God day and night. I'm in the choir, in the prayer department. I work for the Lord. I serve God in truth and in spirit. Why is my case different? Esther. Why is my other sister's case different? Have your seat for the <gasps> What seat? The Bible says we are seated with Christ in the heavenly places, but why can't we enjoy the blessings of the heavenly places? Don't you understand? Don't talk like that. <sighs> eh? 
I don't want you to talk like that. No matter what the situation <sighs> is, God is in control. That should be the mindset that you have. That should be God. what you're thinking about. <sighs> eh? That is the mindset I want you to have. The mind of Christ is in you. So regardless of what is happening around you, regardless of the situation that you feel is going on, have the mind of Christ. The mind of Christ. Yes. Is the mind of Christ not to bless me? Is the mind of Christ not to let my sister and I settle down in our own marital home? Of course, that is the design of it's God. Is the it's mind of marriage. Christ not to help us have abundant life like He promised in His Word? Yes, it Look is. Look at you. You have your husband, your children, you're living just fine. A good job. Now you understand the benefits of being in the presence of God. But what do we have to write home about? For how many years now? No suitor is looking at my direction. Is there a veil of darkness, you know, covering the glory and the beauty of God over me? No, there, there's no cor- there's there's no veil playing out over your life. She's over 30 years now and you won't believe she just rejected another suitor. No. <gasps> you see? Isn't that the one that we're thinking that this is it, that God has finally done it? I'm telling you! This feels like it's a negative generational pattern or a curse because my no. family. There's no curse. Galatians chapter 3 verse 13, what does it say? It says Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law, having by himself become a curse for us. So there's no curse. And even if the devil is trying to play out some curses, you know, some things in your life and in your family lineage, then that is why we need to stand on the word of God. We need to stand on the word of God and reject every such plan of the enemy. We need to say every veil is torn away, everything that is blocking your glory from shining, your sister Marilyn's glory from being seen. We're going to pray about it. We need to be serious and stand in the gap. That is what we are going to do. Mm? But I don't want you to cry or to be upset over that. But this one is painful though because I was so sure that... <sighs> Sit down. Please, I'm trying to make a dinner for my husband but I want you to be... It will be well. Be encouraged in the Lord. It is well. Ha. But, ha. I feel ah no 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 because I was so sure. I was so sure that ah uh-uh, no 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 no. I, I thought it was just us to be picking a show a bit now. Not that you come and tell me that there's another failed relationship in Marilyn's life again. Ah, God. I'm so sorry That's about that show. Hmm. But thank you so much, Margaret. You're a good friend. Pray Thank for God. God to give me a godly friend, and indeed, He gave me you. Thank you so much. It is well. I feel so mm. relieved. You know what? Let's pray together. I just feel we should pray together. Please, please. Heavenly Father, my God, we bring Esther and Marilyn under the umbrella of your anointing. Mm-hmm. Father, you are the one that designed marriage. You said it is no good for a man to be alone. I will make an helper for him. Amen. Father, these are helpmates that are already oh, waiting, waiting to be found true. by the very bone of their bone Amen. and the flesh of their flesh. Amen. So Father, we stand on your word. We hold on to the cross of Calvary yes, and we declare that perchance there's any veil, there's anything covering their glory, there's anything, oh, oh Lord, any Amen. curse, oh Lord, that wants to play out in their lineage. Father, we cancel it in Amen. the name of Jesus. We deploy the blood of Jesus on our side. Even to cleanse away everything that may be standing in their way. Anything that is preventing them from this thing. Anything that is causing relationships to fail. Father, we cancel and we destroy it in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we declare that your mercy, your mercy will speak over this situation. Amen. Your mercy that speaks, oh Lord. The voice of mercy will not be silent in their Amen. lives and in their family. Yes, and Father, we pray for encouragement. Amen. In Amen. the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Father, encourage Sister Esther's heart in Amen. the mighty name of Jesus. Father, let us see oh, that you are working Lord. this situation yes, and that the very best that you have in mind Amen. is going to play out in our life, Amen. is going to play, play out in the life of our family. Amen. For in Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Amen. I am praying for you. Amen. I am pr- and I know, I know. It seems tough, but everything will work out. Thank mm-hmm. you so eh? much. Thank God you are here now. Why are you staying now? Help me. Finish <laughs> cutting. <laughs> Finish cutting this one. Let me want the jollof rice. Thank you. Oh, yeah, cut. My wash your hands so that you can cut. <laughs> Let me just say. Hey. <laughs> Alright, so I thank God I even made dinner. So we'll just put oh, together I'm now. So just finish, trust me. <laughs> ah, my sister, thank you so much. <laughs> Mm. 
Can you imagine? I even wanted to tell you. I was going to call you. Uh huh. Okay. You know, that thing I've been praying about, you know, I told you about it now. What? That connection I wanted, uh -huh. yes, for that business idea I had. Uh -huh. God is doing something there. Amen. God is doing something Glory there. And I know God. you will complete that which I have already. Amen. Just pray for me too. <laughs> yes, As I pray, yes, yes, we'll keep carrying each other's body. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Prosper, what's wrong with you? Uncle! Yes. She said no. Who said no? Uncle, the lady I told you about. But you had a vision. <sighs> yes, Uncle, the vision. Yes. I don't know, Uncle. I don't know what happened. Uncle. Yes. In that vision. Hey, Uncle, Uncle, the vision. Hey. Uncle, I saw her. Yes. I was invited. Yes. By her. In a TV station. Yes. And in that TV station, it was supposed to be an interview. Yes. Regarding evangelism. Yes. And Uncle. What happened? When I arrived there. Uncle. Yes. You I didn't was, see her? I was told in the vision yes. that she's no longer working there, that she quit her job to go and join her husband in a missionary mission yes. to preach the gospel. And I got up. Husband? Yes, uncle. And this lady that I saw, yes. she's also a journalist. Uncle Titus, yes, yes. when I woke up from the vision, I had no doubt in my mind that it would be a journalist. And I started searching. Yes. And I asked around in the church. Yes. That who is a journalist? And I was told that Sister Marilyn yes. is a journalist. Yes. As a result of that, I was convinced that she is the one. Ah, how could you assume that she was the one? Ah, uncle, uncle, uncle. I've been searching, I've been searching. I need somebody, I need someone to go to do the work of God together. And I knew, I had no doubt in my mind that she is the one. Okay. Oh, God. If I could really know the future holds just shades of pure bliss to keep my heart at ease that's what I choose over and over again I'm praying today that God will make a way And I'm losing my faith Oh, what will the future bring my way? Oh, Lord, let your will Be done in my life For you're the way, the truth and the light The truth and the light So many times and failed in many ways Made many mistakes And locked in a cage of fear The pain, the shame, the sorrows and the tears Broken heart Shattered dreams, the glory fades
exam is no joke. My Aww. final mass communication exam. Aww. And and you become a certified journalist. And I will be. I pray the Lord grant you Lord. excellence like He granted Daniel in Babylon. However, <laughs> I've decided that. I've, I've been studying all week. I've put a lot of effort into my assignments, uh -huh. and I pray to God every night. But if yeah. God is able to grant me this wish of passing this exam, yeah, I've actually made a promise to Him that I will quit. What? Quit journalism and mass communication, and focus on being a missionary. Are you sure about what you're saying? I am sure. But you make your vow to God. You have to keep it. God has given me so much. He's so much joy, so much Aww. love. I was on the, on the verge of committing suicide. <laughs> and God sent you to save me. I understand. The love that I have in God, if I can help others to find this love, that is what I want to do with my life. Oh, that's so sweet to hear, Melinda. I'm so happy to hear that. But you remember there was a woman in the Bible called Hannah. Hannah made a vow to God when she was praying out to God fervently to give her a child because her co-wife Penina was making mockery of her and it didn't seem like she would have any child son. And when she made a vow to God that if God gives her a son, she would give her son back to God. Guess what? God eventually gave her a son and she gave him back to God. Yes, she did. Yes. So I hope you know the implications of making vows before God. I've made up my mind. I know this is what I want. Okay. I know this is what I want. I'm happy. I'm excited. Aww. Praise the Lord. And I'm so confident that the Lord will purge you and he will use you to bring many more souls into his kingdom. Now go get Christmas. Go find yes. the yes. <laughs> My sister. To keep my heart at ease. This is my friend. How <laughs> good You will remember to my bed. Remember me, eh? Remember Mary Lynn. See how she's so happy in her marriage. Ah, she's such a godly role model. I really love her. God, please. Eh, it is the sins of our forefathers or our ancestors. Show us mercy. Ha. Ha. Hello, Pastor Andrew. <laughs> yeah, oh man of God, what do you want by God's grace? Thank you. How are you and the family? Oh, by the grace of God, the Lord is helping us with the work of the ministry. Ah. Um, but I just called to check up on you, uh, Sister Esther. How has it been? Mm. You're working with the Lord and you know, continue in the faith as we discussed the last time. It's not been easy, especially with. The disappointments I've been having maritally. But the Lord is seeing us true. The Lord is helping us. <sighs> yes, yes, yes. The Lord is faithful. I just call to encourage you. You know, the, the gift of the word of the Lord is the presence of the Lord with us. And mm. like I told you the last time, continue reading the word of God. In the morning, you know the principle of no Bible, no breakfast. Before you leave the house, read the word. No yes, scripture, sir. no sleep. Mm -hmm. Read the word of the Lord. Make sure your life is permeated with the word of the Lord. And yes, that sir. will be to me, okay? Yes, sir. How about the, the local assembly, the local church there? Yeah, you know, the Bible tells us you cannot forsake the assembly of the saints together. Mm -hmm. Are you you're being involved and you're committed in that way? Pastor, to the glory of God, I have been serving in the choir and I recently just joined the prayer department. Yes. Wow, wow, wow. That, that, that's mm. very good to hear. That's very good to hear. You know, the scripture tells us iron sharpens iron. Yes, sir. Uh, keep on doing that what you're doing, okay? Because yes, the prayer team, that's, that's the engine room of the, of the body of the Lord. Mm. Okay? Yes, sir. It's, it's, it's good to know. It's good to hear. I hope every other thing is okay. Family wise, and uh, you know your your work, your day to day work. Okay. Yes, everything is well by God's grace. Thank you, Pastor. <laughs> okay, all right. So we'll keep praying for you. Okay? Amen. Um, we'll keep praying for you. God will keep strengthening you. Amen. The good thing has started. He shall complete it to your life. Amen. Amen. All right, no problem. Amen. Well, I'll, I'll time, right? Amen. God yes, Pastor. You. Thank, you so <laughs> Thank you so much, sir. Thank you so much, sir. Bye bye. Have a great day. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. I thank God for Pastor Andrew. Huh? <laughs>
I'm sorry, yo. My sister. I thought I had to clean the restroom. Hope I didn't take too much. No, 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 not at all. <laughs> Thank oh, God. Oh, you're on the call. Mm, it's so beautiful to serve God. Yes. I bless God for people like Pastor Andrew. And for you too, you'll be such a good godly friend to me. We thank God. Ah, we thank God. We so so I'm telling right. you, there's so many rewards mm -hmm. that come with serving God. True. You know, it cannot even be explained. Is it the joy in your heart? Oh. Is it the lives you're touching? Mm. Uh, is it the blessings that uh, most of all that crown of glory hey, that is awaiting me in heaven or that is awaiting us Amen. that is the most important reason yes, because uh, I, would all, I know that you know, even the bible says that oh how reminds me i'm expecting somebody from church i'm sure it's the one okay. hello please come oh. Ah, Good sister. to see you. How are you? I'm doing How is everything? Good. How is the work yeah. of God? Everything is going on. Please right. have your seat. Ah. <laughs> no, you know, I just came in so that I can take those ministerial Ooh, that's instruments. True. That's know. true. The uh, ministry yes. equipment, the missionary equipment. Okay, I'll get it for you. I'll get it. But okay. how is everything? No, everything ah. is going on well. Missionary? Yes, uh, this is my friend. This is Esther. Oh, That's our pastor. He's in charge of the ministry, missionary department in our church. Yes. Missionary? I've been seeing him around in church, but it's not really know exactly what he was. Oh, yes. Ah, nice to meet you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Let me get something for us to drink thank and you, I'll get the equipment you. for you to ah. Please make yourself comfortable. <laughs> ah. Nice to meet you, sir. So you're in the missionary department? Yes, my sister. Oh my god. You know, so separation out there. Hmm. And if we keep on just seeing souls perishing, hmm. it's not good. Oh, if man. we go to heaven, yes. oh maybe you have eternal life. Hmm. How what account are you gonna give to God oh, that you saw the others were dying, <laughs> perishing, and you did nothing? Hmm. So that is the reason. The Lord put it as a burden in my heart ah, for me to go out. Thank you. Let me just drop the. So these are the equipment. Let me drop mm. it here while I get you something to refresh yourself. <laughs> so, Papa, how is evangelism going? I'm sure you are winning many souls for Christ. Amen. With tango. Mm. The Lord is really good. Amen. Many souls are coming to Christ this day. Thank God. God is faithful. Amen. And He will continue to give you the grace Amen. and the enablement to do the work. You will Amen. not get tired. Amen. Amen. That reminds me. Let me get us some refreshments. So that as we are refreshing the spirit, we will be refreshing, refreshing the body. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. <laughs> But I pass by, so nice to meet you. I'm really grateful to God for the wonderful thing you people are doing in the missionary department. You know, currently I've been running a series on evangelism, winning souls for the Lord in oh, really? such a generation like this. Yes, and follow up, which is very important. And I was so inspired by the person who brought me to the Lord. So I don't know, is it okay with you to be, you know, like a guest to that show? Like I'm inviting you for an official interview. I want to interview you on evangelism. Oh, that would be a nice opportunity. Mm. I've been searching for something like that. Mm. Thank God. God mm. is a miracle working God. Mm. Praise the Lord. That would be and so good. You know, that, to even yeah. give visibility to the work he's doing. Absolutely. People will be able to see and know yeah. that, okay, God is doing something here. That's why you been telling me about this exactly. interview thing. You know? It just didn't occur to me. It must really have been God yes, that brought you yes, here today. Yes, yes, yes. It will yeah, be a perfect God. fit. <laughs> wow, thank you, Jesus. Ah, this is beautiful. Can I have a dose? <laughs> ah, I'm gonna need dose for this. Okay, okay. okay. Well, I'm dosing for the souls that are alive. You probably need to schedule the interview as soon as possible. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Hmm. You know this days, that is what should be born in our hearts. True. The desire to bring people, as many people to Christ mm -hmm. as possible. Mm -hmm. We are running out of time. Yes. And that urgency, I'm not really seeing it in the body of Christ. Oh, so it's very important for us, not just you know the missionary department, but even us as individuals, to mm. do the best we can yeah. to tell everybody about Christ. Jesus it should, is it's the message. Yes. It's ju it is just the message. Yeah. The message is Jesus. Jesus, Jesus. is the message. Mm, Jesus only is our mm -hmm. message. May the Lord help us to see Him in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Ah, God. And even our family members and friends who are perishing, and we are in the churches every day. You Eating the instruments, dancing, and it, it really burdens my heart. That's why I was really inspired to start the, the podcast. The program. Yes. Mm -hmm. Sister Esther, don't worry. With the social media mm -hmm. empowerment these days, many souls will come to Christ. Amen. 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 You know what? Yes, sir. 
I really have much to do. Oh. I cannot leave souls to perish. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. God bless you. Amen. Please, I'll give you a call. Okay. No problem. See you later, right. my first class. Have a lovely week. Wow, we need more fire for like this. Very important. <laughs> very, very important. Hmm. <laughs> you know what's on my mind. I'll, I'll tell I you. I know what's on your mind. You need certification. <laughs> okay. Is this one with the right I'm, I'm not going to say anything. Yeah, I'm not going to say anything. <laughs> Alright, no problem. I'm going to. That's why we are together forever. <laughs> No problem. It's really good when brothers dress fine, you know, like not the street coco ones that are looking like the uh, beggars in the church. That were like sharp or I dress is good, you know. Yeah. Good not that are I have like only for my husband. But you know, I wish brothers could realize it that the way you dress, the way you look, the way you smell, those are things that make women sit up and it's the process. Exactly. <laughs> Rejected Brother Timothy's proposal because of the way he always looks in church. Like, I can imagine. But he's a spiritual fire brother. Uh, well, that is to tell you that there's the, there must be balance. Yeah. Balance. <laughs> spiritual call, yes. But take care of the physical too, please. My Very sister, important. At this point in my life, anyone, as long as it's a widow call. <laughs> don't worry. Yeah, I know you like fighting. <laughs> it is the best that God will do for you. <laughs> I beg, I beg. Let me quickly go and cook for my husband. Exactly, let me be going. Thank you so much, my sister. Alright, see you. Oh, hmm. We gonna prepare for the interview. Oh Lord, you have been so good. You are so good to me. Oh Lord, you are excellent in my life every day. Oh Lord, you have ha a big sis. Where are you? Please come now. Come, let's pray and go to bed. Ah. God is extremely good and faithful to us. Big sis, come. Uh -uh. Yes, oh, thank you, Holy Spirit. Ooh, big sis, praise the Lord. God is extremely good and faithful. He is good to all his children who trust in him. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Let's look at 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 11 to 13. Praise the Lord. It's good to serve the Lord. It's good to be in the presence of God. 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 11. 11 to 13. Ha, ah, big sis. Oh, do you think you know the Bible more than I? Hmm? Big sis. Are you, <laughs> are you serious? When I was in the Sunday school, back then you were not even born. Mm -hmm. I used to read though. Mm -hmm. Read the Bible. So what happened? And now as I'm as I'm aging, my, my, my brain too is aging, so. You see 2nd Corinthians 1st Corinthians 1st uh, and 2nd is the same thing This is It's just like you and I am 1st and you are 2nd We have the same parent So it's 1st, 2nd 1st Corinthians chapter 13 <laughs> So I take verse 11 It says When I was a child I spake as a child I understood as a child I thought as a child But when I became a man I put away childish things Verse 12. For now we see in a mirror dimly, but then face to face, now I know in parts. But then I shall know just as I also know I am known. And now abide faith, hope, love, these three things, but the greatest of this is. Love. Hallelujah. Ella, you know, I love you. Lord. <laughs> yes, of course, I love you too, Big Sis. Big Sis, yes. let me ask you a very simple question. Okay. If a man left you for your best friend, ah, yes. would you still show him Christ like love? <laughs> if a man broke your heart, destroyed your courtship, and left you, would the Bible you says still... vengeance is of the Lord. I'll take vengeance in my hand. Big Sis. I will lock him up in jail and throw the keys. But you just said <laughs> love is the greatest. That, that's not love. So if you that, have a broken hmm. courtship, you will still love the person in Christ? In Christ. But after then, I will deal with him first. <laughs> 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 not me. It's because I forget that those 
that stupid man and the head is not trying me. Hmm. I'll remove my Christian garment and put and see with them, then wear it later. <laughs> let, let, let us pray. <laughs> The Lord help us in Jesus' name. Amen. Father, we thank you. We bless you as we go to sleep. We pray, Holy Spirit, you minister the scriptures in our hearts in the way only you can. And you help us, oh God, to love in every condition, in every situation, to love all of your children, even as you've loved us in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. I love Amen. you so much, big sister. I love you, sweetheart. Mm. <laughs> go to your room. This bed is for me alone. Good what? night. <laughs> you know, my bed is so big, I can't even sleep in this. Go, you're jealous. <laughs> I'm quite jealous of what? Jealous of my room. Your room. Yeah, sometimes I always sleep here because I feel bored and lonely. Not like I. This is my big sister. I love you. <laughs> hmm. Thank you, Jesus. This is really amazing. Thank you, Evangelist Prosper, for all these amazing insights. And before we take leave of you for this session of the program, we'd just like to find out many viewers are watching and saying, how, how can I know God? What does it mean to be born again? How can I get into the kingdom of God? What do you have to say for such people who are still in despair of their souls? Thank you. For you to be born again, it's mm. very simple. Yes. You know, you cannot enter into the kingdom of God except you accept Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior. Mm -hmm. And I will plead with you that you should do that decision today. Today. Don't push it for tomorrow. Yes. Because it might be too late. Mm. And Jesus loves you so much. Yes. Just forget about the pain, the sorrows, the agony. Come to Jesus and yes. you will have eternal life. Yes, yes. Amen. Amen. Jesus Christ died on the cross of Calvary for every one of us so that we might be saved and have life eternal. Thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen, for being a part of this session with me, your sister, friend, and host, Sister Esther. And here we have had Evangelist Prosper. Thank you so much, man of God, for coming. Thank you. <laughs> God bless you. And remember to tell someone about Jesus. Jesus who died for humanity to be saved. And until next time, it's a bye bye. <laughs> God bless you. <laughs> oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you so much, Brother Prosper. Thank you, Evangelist, for coming. Are you okay? Sister. <laughs> okay. Ever since I set my eyes on you. Are you okay? Ever since I set my eyes on you, I knew you were the one. The one? Yes, you are the bone of my bone, the flesh of my flesh. Brother Prosper! Yes, will you marry me? <coughs> Please don't say no. I know God programmed this day for us. Can't you see it? See what? What are you talking Even about? Evangelism, okay. We are having the same attire. Child of God can have the same attire with you, brother Prosper. That doesn't say a thing. Please, can you pray about it? Please, please stand up, stand up, sir, stand up. I'll see how to pray about it. But if this is truly God and you're sure about what you're seeing, you will need to come see my elder sister first before I can consider praying. No problem. Anything you want, I'm ready for it. Okay. All right. I'll let my sister know that you're coming and I'll... Is that a yes? I will pray about it. Okay, okay, okay. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming, sir. <laughs> let me see you off. All right. Thank you. <laughs> The dreams the glory fades. <sighs> All these brothers. I mean, like, I don't even know him like that. I've just been seeing him around in church. And suddenly, I'm the bone of his bone, the flesh of his flesh. Ah, 
when I've been waiting on God for so long. Could it be that genuinely it's God who is sending this brother to propose? <laughs> Maybe it's divine connection. His shirt looks good, like he dresses good. And I used to see him pray so well in church. Ah, but let me come and see my sister Marilyn. At least let me get to hear what my sister will say upon seeing him while I'm praying and considering. But sure, I want to settle down. <sighs> It'd be a good thing to get married. I cannot do this work alone. Hmm. I definitely need help and he needs help too. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, he forgot his ah. Could this be another sign? Ha, this could be my husband. <laughs> he forgot his iPad. Okay. No, I'm not going to access this information. I'll, I'll, I'll drop you with the pastor to give him. I hope he told his pastor about me before coming to propose. It's a great day. I can't wait to meet him. Wow. What are they showing these people? Ah, Make sense. Can you imagine? He just told me he's five minutes away. What? I'm telling uh, you. Am I, oh am my I, goodness. Was I not supposed to change? I don't know. Okay, let, let me try to get him something, okay? I know you can't wait to meet him, right? Okay. I'm so excited. Okay. Let me get something. Wow, okay. Oh my god. I'm ready. I can't wait. Oh my god, my baby sister. Oh my god, I'm so happy for her. Wow. Uh, oh my god. You right now. God. Oh 
god, why? What? And as a child of God, that bothers my heart because you were the one that got me into church. Mm -hmm. And I mean, I don't know, I just feel like I needed to approach you and ask you about that because that, that does not seem like yeah. what a child of God would do. And I'm so ashamed of all these things happening. I'm sorry that you had to go through this and then truly is not what you think. I didn't steal my sister's suit off. Mm -hmm. The thing is, he proposed to my sister Mary Lee without knowing that she's ah. my older sister. He proposed to Mary? Yes. And then you? Yes, he didn't know that she's my sister. You know, she comes to church just once in a while. She's mm -hmm. not in the workforce. He didn't really know it. So what do you, what do you think about this? <sighs> I'm just so heartbroken because I've been waiting on God to bless me with a suitor. But the thing is, I had not even said yes to him. I just told him to come to the house and meet my sister so then. That's when you found out? Yes. But this, you see what rumors can do to the church? Yeah. You see how fast they could spread in the church? Mm. And people have been talking about this for a while now. Oh. So. I'm so heartbroken. It's sad. It's I really for you, yeah. So I have no more bad dreams, mm. no more bullying. My heart is at peace. I found my yeah. build my relationship with God. Oh. I'm happy. Thank you so much for believing <laughs> oh, in me and praying for me. Yes. I praise God every single yes. day. He's mm. such amazing. God he is, is so, so amazing. amazing. God is love. God is love. Truly, there is peace in Christ. Christ. The Bible says that Jesus gives a kind of peace that this world cannot give. Oh, and I mean, I this I is not great. I have peace. Truly. Esther. <sighs> I'm sorry, it's, it's not what you think. I'm deeply sorry. Esther. Please. Esther, I want to tell you, thank you for praying for me. Because remember I told you I was, I was doing my degree. I had a yes. final test for mass communication and yes. I passed that test, thank God. I passed that yes. test and I did make a promise. I promised God, I said, God, if you give me the opportunity to pass that I test, remember. I will quit <laughs> mass communication. I will leave it alone and to commit to that, I actually called Pastor today and told him that I would be joining the missionary team. You did? Church, yes. So you will now become I an evangelist for the Lord? I will now become an evangelist for the Lord. Are you really sure you want to quit your life? I have made a promise to God. I promised him I have to commit to my promise. God has been keeping me good. I, I no longer have depression. I'm happy. And I will be looking for my husband very soon. 
<laughs> the Lord will give you a Lord, Lord at the appointed time. Yes. We need souls for God is definitely the best thing that can ever happen to us. I mean, I'm explaining so you, so man. The Bible says that he that winners souls is wise. Lord, I thank you. This is what I've always wanted to do win souls for God. Oh, I so, so Lord, happy. God is good. Yeah, I will good. bless you with a man that you both will do missionary yes. work together. Yes. Yes. You win souls for his kingdom. I'm so happy for you, my sister. <laughs> So you beautiful. So, such <laughs> oh, a Jesus word. has done it. Jesus, Jesus is working done. through you. <laughs> My sister, sister, I can't wait to see the so yes. many souls that like you're you, going to for the Lord. <laughs> it must have been Helen mm -hmm. that was in the vision. Oh. What vision? The vision? Oh, forget about him, my sister. Confusion is too much. <laughs> and heart is restless and I'm losing my faith Oh, what will the future bring my way? Oh, Lord, let your will Lord, let your will Let it be done in, be my, done life. in my life For you're the way, the truth For you're, For you're the, the way, way, the truth and the life The truth and the Thank you, Pastor Luke. I'm really, really, really sorry that I went through all this. I pray God help me and I'll amend myself. Right, right. Well, like I said, before you make any such decisions, uh, seek for counsel, talk to me. I am here for you. I am going to help you. That is why, you know, God brought you into my life. So we are just going to go through the first thing I spoke about. And at the end, I believe we are going to know what God is saying concerning this matter. All right? Thank you, sir. Even as we have said, we will pray, we will fast. And you know, this is what happened to the youth. Most often, the devil fights their marriages. He fights their marriages because he knows if he can get them in that area, he can destroy their ministry, destroy their life, destroy their finances, and everything that concerns them. So, most of the youth out there, when it comes to marriage, they make errors like this. You know, they get a vision which we might not even know if it is from God or because they admire his sister and then they start running with stuff like that. So to everyone out there, even as you are a missionary, you are going to meet young people like you. Preach to them, you know, tell them not to rush into decisions like this. They should always seek the face of God when it comes to marriage. And let them focus on their assignment. As for you, focus on your assignment too. Because when it comes to Adam, Adam was at his assignment doing his work. He wasn't even thinking about marriage. He was a complete man. And then the Lord said, it is not good for this man to be alone. He wasn't even lonely. God just said it wasn't good because he was focused at his work. Once you focus on the missionary work and you begin to serve the Lord, the Lord will also look and say, this boy, it is not good for him to be alone. And he's going to bring a lady for you. He's going to bring a helpmate who will help you to advance the kingdom of God. So let us do not let it not be your primary objective. Let your primary objecti objective be to serve the Lord, to do the things of the kingdom of God. And then the Lord, at the right time, you will step in and he will initiate, you know, or bring forth the wife for you, just like he did with Adam. Okay? But like I said, we will pray concerning this matter and the Lord is going to sort it out. Amen. Continue with the work of God, brother. The devil is not going to succeed in holding or ruining your marital destiny. But you are going to find a good helpmate that you guys will do exploit for the kingdom of God. All right? Amen. Yeah. Thank you, Pastor Lou. Thank you. You are welcome, brother. So far, it has been good talking with you. I am happy you opened up to me. All right? So, just we'll keep on talking, okay? Ah, oh God, eh? Lord, I'm so sorry. I didn't even know. How could I have done this? How could I even allow this? How, how could I be so blinded to have known that this man had proposed to my sister? Ah, God, I'm so... Why, why, why are you acting I'm as so if you're sorry? I'm so sorry. Sister Marilyn, I'm sorry. Honestly, I didn't know. Honestly, I didn't know that it was Brother Prosper who had proposed to you. I didn't know. I'm sorry. Like... My own, my own baby sister, like her. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, sis. Please. I'm sorry. I couldn't have done this to you intentionally. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry, please. 
How you know I will never want to hurt you like this? It is always my desire for us to serve God in truth and in spirit. How can I go to your back and stab you so deep? I'm sorry, please. Okay? And I know it's been so hard for us in this family settling down in marriage, but I know God's will for us is of good to bring us to an expected end. I'm sorry, my sister. I'm sorry. Please. Forgive me, Marilyn. I'm so sorry. You don't have to do that. I know you didn't know. It's okay. I'm so sorry. It's okay. I know it's my fault, you know, I never introduced him to you and, and I wasn't even coming to church like regularly, like I don't, it's okay, it's my fault as your big sister, I hope that I would have done better. I'm so sorry, I pray the Lord helps us yeah. moving forward for us to really commit and consecrate our ways to God, for us to know God in truth and in spirit. I pray the Lord will remember our home and visit us that He will settle us maritally. Yeah. I pray the Lord will help us on every side. Yeah. And most importantly, that we will see Jesus when He comes to rapture the church. Yeah. That we will see Jesus at the end of our race. Yeah. Sister Mary. See, I know, I trust God. You're very, very beautiful. Oh. That man that God has made for you, he will surely come. Thank okay? you so and you know, I'll be so proud. I'll be so proud. I'll be the happiest big sis on earth to oh, see you married. But I want you to get married first. Oh, you're my big sister. Don't worry about me. I want Don't you to get married worry. first. It's the will of God for you. Don't worry. But sis, honestly, you need to really take your relationship with the Lord more seriously. Oh, come to church more oh, often. Oh, she talk about that. Look, you have such a good voice and I believe the Lord wants to use your voice for His glory. I know the Lord has great and mighty plans for you. I oh. ask that powerful man of God for you. Hey? Two of you will a be pastor. a pastor acts in the house of the Lord. You will be mommy pastor. My six pack man cannot be a mommy pastor. Mommy pastor. No mommy way. pastor you will be. No way. My six pack guy. You'll you be, be a pastor's pastor. wife. Trust me. <laughs> no, 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 no. Don't say that. It's a blessing to be a pastor's wife. You don't like pity that you're your mommy pastor. No, no, no. man. This is too much. Oh, you say that. Yeah. Like, no, you'll be a pastor's wife. Eh? Okay. But first things first, you have to really reconsecrate and commit your life to the Lord. I'll think about that. Mm. You know, yeah, I just I just think I should do something different, you know. Yes. I've been so much I've been into yeah. my career, business, yeah. traveling, mm -hmm. back and forth. I just think I should do something for the Lord. Mm. But that you're quiet, I have to change everything. You know, if I have to be in that choir, you know, the instruments will be... Don't go. worry, I'll pay for it. I'll just buy everything, change everything. You know, when I'm singing, maybe my six-pack guy might be in the congregation worship. Oh, hallelujah! Praise the Lord! And right. Let the Lord change your heart first and every other thing will fall in place. Amen, hallelujah! Amen. Praise the Lord. Anything for you, you know. I'm just I'm, I'm coming. I'm joining the choir because of you. Deal or no deal? Uh, deal. As long as you're coming to God, that's okay, 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 okay. Yeah, okay. Get something to eat. I, I love you, big sis. Yeah, I love you too. Oh of heaven and the earth. Oh my Zekeli Oh for the Lord I stand in the gap. Baba Bali Kelia Sandara Bali Goduraba. This water is almost finished. Hey, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. The water of this generation must be running dry. My Lord and my God, I begin to pray, oh Father, for your intervention right now. Intervention into the life of this generation, into the life of the youth, oh Lord. Intervene in their marital destinies. Intervene, oh Lord. Daddy, I begin to pray. I know the enemy has released demons from the pit of hell to fight marriages, especially.
especially kingdom marriages uh, because if they can attack the marriages therefore they will, they will destroy the kingdom of God uh. so I stand the gap right now and I begin to pray for the marital destiny oh Lord for everyone that you have called in your kingdom for every youth of this generation oh Lord uh, I begin to pray for their marital destinies uh, that is that it will come to pass in the name of Jesus uh. you say in your word oh Lord uh, that is that none of them will lack their mate uh. Father I begin to pray may they locate their mate in the name of Jesus uh, and any mate from the pit of hell oh Lord I stand on behalf of Father Lord I declare that in no time at all you will settle you will turn every pain into joy you will turn every afraid even into the things of dancing Father concerning heart concerning every single brother every single sister out there that trust in you for the gift of a life partner Father arise Arise on their behalf, arise on their behalf. And Father begin to put things into place in their life. In the mighty name of Jesus. Lord Jesus, my King, my Father, I need your will. Your will in marriage. Father, I don't want to miss it this time. I need your perfect will. Oh God, Father, direct my path. Lord my God, help me, Lord. And also, Lord, all other youth that are out there seeking for your help, crying, oh Lord, for direction for your will in marriage. Father, help them, oh God. Daddy, that the vision, they will not miss it. Daddy, I will not miss the vision. I will not miss it that pretty. Lord, I want to be in your will. Father, help me, oh God. Oh, Father, every generation that passes, every negative generation that passes, the Lord help you. In the name of Jesus, Father, your word says that if we are willing and obedient, we shall eat the food of the Lord. Father, we are in the land of righteousness. We shall eat the food of the Lord. Oh, Father, we pray in the name of Jesus. You will break loose every part, every chair, every element. In the name of Jesus, every satanic agenda, the Lord will put it. In the name of Jesus, every covenant of the Lord. Oh Father Lord, you said it in your word that marriage is honorable in Lord. In all with the bed on the found. So Father, I pray for them that you bring godly marriages their way. You bring godly marriages their way. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, I stand upon your word. I stand upon your word because you said it, O Lord, that you would do for them, that you would do for them. You said the thoughts I have for you are thoughts of good and not of evil, even to give you a hope and a future. Father Lord, I know that you hope the future that you have designed for them, you will bring it to pass in the mighty name of Jesus. A satanic connection, oh Lord, uh, to any demonic matter, uh, I disconnect it right now in the name of Jesus, uh, and I begin to pray, oh Lord, uh, for divine connection, uh, for Adam was in the garden, oh Lord, uh, and Adam was walking, uh, and you brought him to him, uh, and you say it was not good for him to be alone. Uh, that yeah, I pray, oh Lord, uh, for all of the children that are in the ministry, for all of the children of this generation who love the kingdom and who are serving you, oh Lord, uh, that it, I may you bring their mates to them, even as you brought Eve to Adam. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, uh, Father, I stand the gap right now for the marriages, oh Lord. Uh, I stand the gap right now. For you say you seek a man to stand the gap. Uh, you have put this burden in my heart for a reason. Uh, therefore, I am praying. Thank you, Jesus. If it was not for you, I would not have survived the suicidal thoughts. God, you have given me the ability to pass this exam for that. I'm forever grateful, God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. That is your perfect will, not your permissible will. Lord, help me. Lord, help me. Open my eyes to see clearly. That is direct my path. Lead my way. Lead me, O Lord, in the name of Jesus. Them. That is your desire for them. That is your 
Jesus. Yes. 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 from heaven for them. In the mighty name of Jesus. That as I've enjoyed my marriage, you give them marriages to enjoy. In the mighty name of Jesus. They will not make mistakes that will cut off their destinies. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, you will do for them, O Lord. That which you take them, O Lord. Even to fulfilling purpose, O Lord. You bring them, O Lord. Align their goals, O Lord. With the God chosen life for them. That are chosen for them. In the mighty name of Jesus. Mandy, Lima, Kayata, Yana, 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 souls to you God I pray that you allow me to find someone with passion and joy just like I have as a husband so we can both win souls for you dear Lord oh God though the cross is I'm gonna carry it Hope you were really blessed. Please subscribe to our channel and turn on the post notification bell. Also, do not forget to follow us on all social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter. We encourage you to share this video and bless others. And oh yes, we encourage you to check out our other edifying videos on this platform to keep enjoying the moment. Thank, Thank you so, so much, much for watching, watching and God, God bless, bless you. you. <laughs>